Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be checking out this sick tune for the Lexus RCF or the Eleganto in car extra tracing online. And this tune is going to work for Xbox, uh, PlayStation players, PC and mobile. Works for all platforms and this will also work for steering wheel and controller. This is a nice smooth drift tune, but it's got a lot of power, so it'll get you around those big corners. It's got a realistic tune to how you would have it in real life, so the drifting, you know, like the wheel alignment, all that sort of stuff, is realistic to how you have it. And it's a very high Ackerman, which means um, it's like a drift angle kit in real life. Um, a lot of people say with the tune, sometimes, oh, the tune spins out or it's hard to handle, stuff like that. It's the Ackerman, basically the way it works with Car X is if you turn the Ackerman down, it basically puts a limit on the steering, like you can hold fully to the right or left steering, full throttle and you won't even spin out, which is not realistic at all. Um, and it's also, it's not realistic in the game, like for playing wise, and it's also not realistic for tuning wise, like in real life, they mostly drift on 100 Ackerman. So that's why we've got that. Most of our tunes are near 100. Um, if you're having trouble spinning out, just drop it down a little bit, but it's going to be less realistic. Um, even for wheel and controller, more realistic is 100 Ackerman. And again, with all of our tunes, we've got a nice fitment. No wheels glitching through the fenders, even at full steering lock, full drift angle. And yeah, just a nice, uh, balanced, smooth tune. But we've got max power on this one, so you know it's quite aggressive it might be a bit much to handle for the steering wheel users if you're kind of just getting new to uh, just getting used to uh, drifting and you're new to it on the uh, steering wheel uh, you might just want to drop the power down a bit maybe drop the tire width you know so basically drop the grip and drop the power that make it sort of easier to manage and yeah again if you're having trouble on controller drop the Ackerman a little bit but it's gonna mean you've kind of got less control of the car less realistic but obviously it's easier so there's that but yeah as always let us know in the comments what you like about this tune what you don't what you think you know needs improving and stuff uh drop a like on the video if it's helped you subscribe for daily car x videos and apart from that have a good rest of your day peace